women past childbearing age have an alternative to a hysterectomy to help relieve other complications. Dr. Michael Smith, OBGYN with Christie Clinic, is here for today's MedLive. Thank you for being here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now, tell us, what is the endometrial ablation procedure? This is a procedure that uh, has been around for about 10 years. Uh, that's something that's been designed uh, primarily to give women an alternative uh, to proceeding with hysterectomy. Why would you choose this? Um, this is uh, a procedure that uh, if it's indicated and there, there you have to select a patient base for this, um, it's something that uh, provides uh, the, the woman the ability to have a much less uh, recovery time and much less pain that's involved um, with doing, than doing hysterectomy. Okay, so what exactly is done? Um, <clears throat> Uh, what, what's involved is uh, putting a little instrument into the uterus and it actually uh, burns the inner lining uh, which takes out the, the lining tissue so that the patient no longer has the ability to have menstrual cycles. Okay. Um, the uterus is what we call an end organ. Um, it's an organ that doesn't make any hormones of its own. Uh, the ovaries are what produces the hormone and so what controls periods. Um, the uterus uh, uh, really has no, no say, it just responds to the signals that it receives. Hmm. And so if you're able to remove the inner lining of the uterus, then the uterus no longer has the ability to have periods and you've done a very simple procedure that allows the patient to no longer have menstrual cycles. And how is this different from endometriosis? Endometriosis is a, is a condition where the inner lining of the uterus <coughs> is actually implanted on the inside of the body entirely different thing, has nothing to do with that. Uh, the term endometriosis is just this, this tissue that's implanted in another place. Endometrial lining is in a normal place and all you're doing is, is uh, removing it uh, with this procedure. So which women, what type of women would be a candidate for the uh, ablation procedure? This is a, a procedure that's primarily designed for women who are having problems with their periods uh, that's due to some kind of hormonal problem. And so a patient that has uh, some kind of anatomical problem, such as endometriosis or a condition like fibroids, uh, those are patients that probably are going to have to have some uh, uh, you know, further surgical procedure like hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. A patient that just has problems with uh, hormonal problems, this uh, treats them very simply. Uh, the statistics on this are, are fantastic. Uh, when you do procedure like this, we quote that 95% of patients will be happy and actually 7 out of 10, 70% of patients will never have a menstrual cycle once it's done. Are there risks associated with it? Uh, some, but very minimal. Uh, you think about this procedure, it's very similar to doing a DNC. And so you go into the hospital, you spend a few hours, you leave, uh, you're able to return to work in just a few days, wow. uh, no incisions. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a very easy procedure to do. Uh, there are risks involved with any surgical procedure, um, but the fact that you um, don't do any kind of incision on the body makes this a relatively low risk procedure. Is it typically covered by insurance? Yes. Yeah, this is done uh, for a, a medical indication, mm -hmm. and so because of that, insurance companies will cover it. Okay. Dr. Michael Smith, thank you for being here, telling us about endometrial ablation procedure. Yes, ma'am.